Hello guys, you're welcome to another tutorial in the WordPress series. So this is WordPress part 3. So today we'll be talking about uh, Today we'll be discussing about the following. We'll discuss about what is a plugin, how to install plugins in WordPress, and what is a WordPress theme and how to customize WordPress themes. Okay guys, let's ride on. In WordPress, a plugin is a small software application that extends the features and functions of a WordPress website. So plugins play a major role in building great websites using WordPress. They may they make it easier for us users to add features to their WordPress websites without knowing single line of code. So Basically, you can work with WordPress as I told you guys in the introduction video of this course that you learn how to build websites with no knowledge of coding. So, how to install a WordPress plugin? You can easily find and install a WordPress plugin right from the plugin. Add new page into an admin slider. From there, you'll see WordPress plugins repository where you can browse or search for the plugin you need. More explanations will be seen practically. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Okay, thanks guys. Do share to help others. So we'll be riding over to the practical part and I'll be showing you guys how to do all of this, how to install plugins in your WordPress website and how to customize and install themes. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, you all are welcome to this tutorial and this series. Actually, we had a slide that just played that uh, already explained a lot. So I'm just here to like guide you guys and show you guys on how to install your wordpress plugins how to install wordpress themes and how to customize your wordpress theme so we already have we already logged into the wordpress here and if you don't know how to log in into your wordpress you can follow this procedure or these steps i am showing you right now so you open a new tab after opening your zam control panel and starting the apache server and the mysql so the next thing you do is to rush over to your uh, browser and you type localhost when you type localhost the various folders that are found in your in your htdocs folder are displayed here so basically what you do is that you go to the folder in which you know is your wordpress file you're working on or your website in this case we are working on this last one so you have to click on it when you click on it it will load so here basically i have locked in and if you haven't logged in maybe it might prompt you to input the initial password in you, which you inputted before that i showed you the other day when we were working on the introduction to wordpress so you log in and then when you log in you fall on this page so here we have a theme i'm sure this should be the 2020 team yeah the 2020 team so after this when we log in we will go to our dashboard from here if you want to go to your dashboard you click you just hover over your website name you click on dashboard so you go to the dashboard so when you go to the dashboard basically along this menu bar here you have posts you have media you have pages you have comments you have appearance you have blockings you have user you have tools you have settings so today we'll be talking about plugins and we'll be talking about themes so let's start with plugins oh sorry let's start with themes so a wordpress theme i did not explain wordpress theme is basically a pre-formatted form in which gives like your wordpress a particular outlook so when you want to install a wordpress theme you come over to appearance when you hover on appearance this pops up you click on themes so when you click on themes basically the first thing that does is that it displays the default themes that comes along with your wordpress so these are just default themes for example we'll activate this one over here 
and we'll come over to our WordPress site and we'll refresh it. You see that the theme will change. So it have changed to something else. So you see how this one looks like. So if you come here again, like you want to add an external theme, like from WordPress, you can go and click up as I click on add theme. If you can upload a theme from the external, you upload it. Maybe it's in your local drive. And here you can search. I don't know why my connection isn't connecting today. I don't really know what's happening with my connection. So it's not loading any wordpress theme so basically we had to open here if we are connected to the internet let me refresh the page and see we would have had some some themes that will be displayed over here where we can say something like astra logging and okay so basically it's working because i've searched so we have something so you can search for a particular theme that you want and it will appear so these are basically many themes sorry i don't know why this is not like loading so okay so we have basically many themes that are available in the for free free themes so you can basically choose any of these themes and you customize and use for your website so they are just thousands of free wordpress themes so let's just go and install the first wordpress theme like this one over here drop shipping store so we we'll install it so you click on install it basically installs the wordpress theme actually so after installation you can now customize your theme you activate your theme and after activating you customize your theme as it is installing let me post the video and get back when it is done all right guys you're welcome back so our theme is done installing so we'll click on activate when you click on activate it activates the theme so from the what was here before so if you refresh this we will have something different so you see what we have right now right so this is something different you can see here drop shipping so now let's go on to customizing your wordpress theme so when you want to customize your wordpress theme you come over here you see this icon here drawing icon with something they customize so you click on customize so when you click on customize you are taken to this dashboard where you have your website being displayed on the right hand side and menus on the left hand side so basically the first one here you can change your theme and maybe if the theme is a, uh, one that has a pro version they can ask you to go and purchase their pro version so you can go to the theme setting in the theme setting you see the basic types of whatever thing is there like the topography enter topography you have the color the fonts and other stuff you go to the layout settings the layout on how your website should look like you go to the single post settings related post settings header slider section footer responsive media for or for not found slash result go comment settings so you just have to set it to the way that befits you all right yes so you just have to set everything to a way that befits you so you can still come to the site identity change the logo you can update um input your logo over here you change the title just another wordpress site you just say this is the free course by code with crest so you see it will be updated over here this is the free course by code with crest so basically everything you do here changes on your website so you are customizing how your website should look like and if you go back you can see menus you can customize creating new menus adding menus subtitling menus to particular areas widgets you can customize your widget the home settings which one should it be a static or the latest post page maybe you want to design a static website for everyone that visits your site to be the home page you click on starting you select the page from here and that's just blah 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 so that is all about customizing so let's go over to installing plugins so when you want to install plugins you come over here to plugins when you hover this other menu here this place you can click on add new plugin so when you click on add new plugin 
it takes you here so you see they are already plugging there so what you have to do is you have to search for a plugin that you want okay right now let's search for a plugin that we will use along the course so we'll use elementor the element top plugin for editing so elementor plugin is uh, a website editor for wordpress so install it so basically any plugin you want that you know you need like to install it so let me give you guys a tip on wordpress site building what you do on wordpress site building is that when you get to a particular point you have to take note everything has its own functionality if you can use your phone to place a phone call that means you knew that you had to place a particular phone call so if you can use your phone to um, maybe write a message you know you needed to text somebody so that is how wordpress is and teams are you just have to know what functionality you need to add to your website and then you can go online you search what plugin can give you that particular functionality in your website so you have series and tons of plugins you can install them one after another and you test them and always try to install your plugins through this wordpress don't download external plugins to install except you purchase the plugin and it was given to you with a license but it is advisable to always download your plugins through the wordpress website where you know they are free 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 and no malware or whatever so that's how to install plugin so when you install a plugin and you finish for example let's say this one is done installing you click on activate just like in the case of the wordpress theme so you click on activate in activate and you can see it's okay and up running okay let us do something later let me show you what elementor does so we add a new page let's add it create a page and then we'll try to edit the page so let's just call this the home page and then we're gonna publish it we'll publish it and uh, we'll go back home and then we'll come to pages all pages and we have the home over here let's go to edit so I want to show you one thing. I'm sorry I couldn't show you people before. So you have seen a functionality I've increased, I've added here, which is what edit with Elementor. So if I click on edit with Elementor, it will load the Elementor as an editor. And you see here we have more functionality on how you can edit. And here there are some of the functionalities that are blocked, which means you need to purchase the Elementor Pro in order to continue so basically that is maybe let's say you wanted to you want to add something like a section a picture you can always do this you come and click over here you take a picture you drag and drop you can come over here you upload a particular picture select file let's take this and open insert we inserted this maybe we want to add text on the other side we drag and drop and we say learn what press for free so we say learn what press for free we want it to be centered and then we want to style it more like we want this color oh the color is very for good like i would like this sky blue color thing so you can change the topography over here you can change the text stroke you can change the shadow you can go to advanced you add some padding and all the like so let us just do something that looks pretty good so we're gonna put uh, this one over here and we just allow lorem epsom so let's come over to stars and we make it this way come over here we change the text to be really black and then we'll go to topography we increase the size oh the size isn't increasing we have to increase so basically you see something like this so you can now add a button there something like a button i don't know if button is in the free version so we can add a button 
and we just say click to register so we say click to register so after this sorry click on button you center you can make it look center like this whatever you want you upload an icon there so basically whatever you want so you come over to styles over here you can change the background color of that to be you know our favorite color right so we can just shift it over here and um, we bring it here and it say click to register and now we can like say when you hover over it the color should be black so you can say color should be black like when you hover the background color it's black so that's just all you update So that is just all. So if you can come over here to um, customize, you go to home page settings and you set a static page and you, oh, I need to refresh. Let me first of all publish what I've done. So I refresh again. So it can load the, the home page we created. So you come to home page, select home page home. We also, publish it so you come here um uh, over here you just click here visit site and then this is what we have so guys look at what we have really done something that looks good like it's good and really looks cool so in our next tutorial i will show you how to add um menus and footers and all the light so this one here really showed you something and if you right click and you go to inspect you will see that it's mobile responsive very very responsive and looks good so with this you can do so i'll be leaving links in the description below um my website will be ready soon so everything i'll be doing i'll be dropping it on my website every course i take there will be a link there so if you don't have time to go checking on looking for the link to click go search the video you can just write over to codewithcrest.com there you find more and more and more courses on more free courses on how to become a software developer and how to become freelancing doing affiliate marketing and all the like so I thank you guys for watching. I really thank you guys so, 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 so much. And I just wish you guys should learn more from what I'm teaching you. And if you have any questions or any doubts or any worries or anything to add to what I've said, or if I said anything along the course that was not really good or brave, please do so by dropping it down in the comment section. So all of us can get to work, learn, and code together. I thank you all for watching this tutorial. I'm working on an ebook, Ultimate WordPress Guide and SEO. So it will be very a very nice book, a very good book. So I just wish you guys will forge up till the end of this and we'll all learn. And I bet you at the end of this course you will really create good websites for not just for yourself, you will make money from it and and you thank me later. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Have a blessed week. Thank you. And I wish to see you guys all in my next tutorial.